All right, sixth graders, this is to help you with question three on CR number four. It says, what is the value of the expression below? And then you're given a mathematical expression. In parentheses, 12 plus three, then you're going to subtract off in parentheses three times two. So what you have to do anytime you're trying to simplify a mathematical expression, get a single value, you always have to follow what's called the order of operations. And the first thing you always have to do is work within parentheses or grouping symbols. Work within your parentheses or grouping symbols. That means you have to get a single value inside your parentheses. And we have parentheses, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So inside each set of parentheses, you have to get a single value. So what's 12 plus 3? 12 plus 3 is 15. Once I have that single value, I can keep my parentheses or I can drop them. It's up to you. Then you just have to make sure whatever operation is attached, you write it in. Oh, it's a subtraction. Then I'm going to work within this parenthesis. 3 times 2 is 6. All right, I've done all of my parentheses. Second step is always to handle any exponents. Well, the good news is you don't have any exponents. Third step is to multiply or divide left to right. You always do that, left to right. Multiplication and division happen at the same level. All right, we don't have any multiplication or division, so our last step is to add or subtract left to right. And you're like, woohoo, all I have is a subtraction left. 15 minus 6, I believe, is 9. So for number three on your CR, please make sure you follow the order of operations.